for all your hemp wellness needs, information, products, parties, and merch, visit thebudplug.com. Promote your brand here at Vile Hip Hop News. Email me, Sam Ant at thehiphopnews.com. No wait, let's go. Yes, yeah, sir. I want to go into hip hop, but I want to kind of take it on a different spin. And I want to talk about how we see a lot of these hip hop artists as it pertains to the relationship between themselves and a woman. Let's keep it there. Um, in particular, and we usually don't talk about this kind of stuff on our show, but like a blue face and the young lady that he deals with, I don't even know her name. But we see how toxic the relationship is and we see how polarizing that is. And that's going on a lot within hip hop. And then I seen you do a video on how to talk to your woman, how to influence her in the right way. It just game women on another level, on a level that my cousin and I kind of grew up on. The chivalry on another level, keeping the door open for a woman. You know what I mean? Making sure she's safe, making sure she's protected, always being ahead, always being first. You're going to see that right now. So speak on that. What do you think about how we see the current relationships as it pertains to men and women in hip hop? And how could we change maybe some of the toxicity that is promoted out here within? Well, a lot of that comes from the lack of fathers in the household. I know people, you know, say that often, but I'm going to break it down. Right. Mm -hmm. So. So because I, 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 you know, I life coach, I mentor, I do all of that to black men in particular. Right. Uh, Before I explain that, I had a problem. Rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. I had a problem with Kevin Samuels and I addressed him several times. And all of his fans used to hate that I would do so. But I had to because I felt that what he was teaching men, you know, uh, teaching our people was to blame black women. Right. The condition of the black women. But I teach the empowerment of a man. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go somewhere with this because this is going to cover what you're asking me. So in American Pimp, I think, which was one of the most influential things I said in that documentary, which was made by the Hughes brothers who made. Uh, the book of Eli with Denzel from hell with Johnny Depp and, and on and on. I said that before you anything that you have to be a man that my father had taught me before you a doctor, a lawyer, or a pimp or anything that you had to be a man. Right. And I also teach that man manhood is a position. Right. That means what was taken from us in particularly as a people was the idea that once you turn 18, you become a man. That's one of the most disastrous things that could have happened to us as a people for us to believe that. Because historically, before one could become a man, there was something that they had to do. Well, maybe back in the day, they had to go slay the lion. They had to, There was something that they had to do, right, to be able to say they hold this position as a man. What has demolished manhood today is that people often feel when they become 18, they automatically become a man. Well, I don't teach that, right? Because manhood is a position. There are certain things that you must have within this position to be able to hold that you are indeed a man. So when we have a culture of our people growing up feeling that they're a man at 18, that there is nothing strenuous or challenging that they have to do or overcome in order to be said man, then here's what you have. You have a bunch of males, not men. You have a bunch of males. And when you have a bunch of males, what you have is them trying to find something outside of themselves to blame. So in many of these relationships and hip hop and just in general, A lot of people, because they have not been in the presence of a man, they have not seen in their life how a man governs. They haven't seen that. Right. Let me turn just turn a little bit. I said something on another podcast and I said a lot of these youngsters out here, they're not afraid to die. If you step on their shoes, you look at them wrong, you say something, they're willing to kill you and they're willing to die for that. That's Mm -hmm. never been a problem in our communities. The problem is, is they're scared to live. Mm. The reason why they're scared to live is because there's something that's required upon them that they have no point of reference to be, like manhood. When when society says a man governs, he takes care of his children, he, well, they've never seen that in their own home. It's like you're talking like a foreign language to them. So when all this pressure is being placed upon them of all the things that this man is supposed to be, but in their own house, they've never even seen it. They've never even witnessed that. 
therein lies this fear of manhood. So this is some of the issues what we're having in our community is this fear of being said man, right? So when you see those two, uh, Blueface or whatever LeBron is, uh, all this going on, I understand why this is going on because there's no one leading in the relationship, right? There's no one that's saying, I'm going to do such and such and I'm, I'm not doing such and such because of you. I'm doing such and such because I'm a man. I have people that I mentor. They say, man, Dre, man, if my girl would have did this, this, and this, if she just would have did this, this, and this, I would have did such and such. And I say to them, don't ever say no shit like that to me. And they mean, why are you tripping, Dre? I said, man, because what you're really saying that in order for you to be a man, you need her to be a woman. Your manhood can't be predicated on what she does or what she doesn't do. Your man mm -hmm. ain't, manhood ain't predicated upon her. You a man because that's who you are. It ain't got nothing to do with her. See, but ain't nobody taught some of our young people these fundamentals of manhood. So we're all out here lost, right? We're lost. And that's why you see the destructions in relationships, in particularly in our community, because I'm worried about us, right? I can lead all people. I have the information and the knowledge to lead all people, which I did in Washington State. But my focus is our people.